my tiger salamander this is him right here um, so today I'm going to be giving him a new setup so I'm going to show you how I do that and I just wanted to go over the general care for tiger salamanders because they are very easy to take care of so the first thing I want to cover is tiger salamander handling so basically with any amphibian you don't really want to be handling them very much uh, I'm just taking Ponyo out just to like clean or do the enclosure or to show you guys in a quick little video. So I generally just don't handle him much. And when I do, I make sure that my hand is very wet first before I reach in and grab him. You wanna make sure that your hand isn't dry because amphibians have very sensitive skin and you just don't wanna irritate their skin whatsoever. So just make sure that your hand is nice and moist before you reach in and grab one of these guys. So as I mentioned earlier, tiger salamanders are very easy to take care of and that's definitely true. Um, they do get kind of big, so Ponyo is not full grown, but as you can see, like he's kind of big. Um, these guys are really typically good in like usually a 10 gallon. I would recommend a 20 gallon just because they like to wander around. So because it's a salamander, you do wanna make sure that the enclosure is nice and moist for them. And I do that by using either Eco Earth or I'm trying a new substrate today, which is the Josh's Frogs on bio bedding. So that's just a new one that I'm trying that is also really good at keeping the humidity levels up very high for these guys. Um, you do want to make sure that they have a 70% humidity. You also want to make sure that they have a little bit of a water bowl so that way they can go in the water when necessary. Other than that, they don't really need much other than dirt and water. That's pretty much just their life. Um, I do recommend giving them a day and night cycle. When it comes to the diet for these guys, they are insectivores. They're very similar to taking care of a frog. So you want to make sure that the food that you're giving them, what are you doing? You are like all over the place. This is the most active Ponyo has like ever been in his life. Um, but when it comes to the diet for tiger salamanders, they're very similar to frogs. You want to make sure that you're gut loading the insects that you're giving them. Um, a lot of people do feed them earthworms, but they aren't really very high in nutrition and I wouldn't recommend sticking to that as a staple diet. Also, you want to make sure that you're getting your earthworms from like a really legitimate place. You don't want to be getting it from like Walmart or something just because you don't want to get any parasites in the worms and then give that to your animal. Ponyo's being super crazy right now, so I'm just going to go set Ponyo down for now and you will see him later when I set up his enclosure. So the foods that I would recommend to feed your tiger salamander would be dubia roaches, um, crickets. Again, you want to make sure that you're gut loading your crickets. Um, some other ones are super worms. Wax worms are very fattening, so that's usually just a treat. And horn worms are very nutritious and they absolutely love them. You can also feed tiger salamanders pinkies. Occasionally, you don't want to be overdoing it because that is very fattening. And these guys love to eat. They will never refuse a meal. So you want to make sure that you aren't feeding them too much and getting them very fat because again, that's not healthy for animals either. You don't want them to be obese. And again, with uh, keeping an amphibian such as a tiger salamander, you do want to make sure that you are using calcium with D3 and you want to use a multivitamin at least once a month. They do not require any heat or UVB. You do want to make sure that they have a temperature of 69 to 75 degrees, which is pretty much room temperature. So as long as you have a nice comfortable room temperature, you aren't going to be needing any heat bulbs or anything like that. They also don't require the UVB. These guys love to just stay burrowed in the dirt all day long. So you aren't going to be needing any of those light which just makes it a lot easier to take care of these animals in general. Another thing that I wanna add when you are dealing with an amphibian such as a tiger salamander, any water that you're gonna be using, whether it's misting down the enclosure or for their water bottle, you wanna be using RepTi-Safe or something to dechlorinate the water because you wanna make sure that their water is very healthy for them and does not have any chlorine in it whatsoever. I personally am not keeping my tiger salamander in a tank. He is in a container. You can actually see it from right here. He is in this container right over here. Um, I believe it's a little over, it goes back like a little over a foot and then it's like four feet wide. So he has a lot of space to roam around in there. I personally like to use the plastic container because it does keep the humidity intact and it just holds it in much better than a tank would. 
Um, I do make sure to have holes around the whole enclosure and along the top just to make sure that there is some ventilation because you don't want it to be overly moist either. So today I'm going to be setting up his new enclosure and he is going to be going bioactive, meaning that I am just going to be adding springtails into his enclosure and he is going to have these little bugs that are called springtails that are going to eat any of his poop. And it basically just helps function as its own ecosystem within the enclosure just to keep things nice and clean. I still do spot clean when I see poop around, so that's something to keep in mind but he just needs a new enclosure because I haven't cleaned it for a while and it's definitely time to renovate the whole thing. Other than that, I'm just gonna be adding some fake plants around the enclosure for him and his water bowl and then that's pretty much it because he doesn't need anything else. So let's just get to it and set up his new enclosure. And Ponyo's enclosure is now completed, so hopefully he'll enjoy it. He seems pretty happy in there so far. Um, I'm hoping that these springtails will help it keep the enclosure more clean and just like a more healthy environment. Anytime you can go bioactive is just recommended. It's just in my opinion. So hopefully it'll help just keep his environment cleaner for him and healthier. So hopefully I covered everything with the care. These guys are just so basic and so easy, so... Um, basically just want to make sure that you have the humidity and temperatures correct which is pretty easy to attain with these guys always make sure that they have fresh water and then that's pretty much it so leave a comment if you have any questions let me know I'll do my best to answer them I hope you enjoyed the video and it was helpful thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful day